As you can see, as the name implies, black soup, and we have it here right in the pot. Don't allow the look to deceive you. This soup is very, very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes so nice guys it's amazingly delicious and so in celebration of my birthday guys this is what i'll be enjoying with my fufu For a start, what I'm going to do is to combine all these ingredients you see on my wet surface and what I have here is some dry flavorful peppers and then one scotch red pepper. Guys, these peppers are very spicy so if you don't like heat, I suggest you reduce the quantity of peppers you're going to use for your recipe. And here I have a tomb of um, ginger, fresh ginger and here I have one set of um, garlic. Here I have two various combinations of um, onions and I'm having one purple onions and two white onions. So what I will do right now is to transfer all these ingredients right into my blender. So the blending process is done. This is the outcome of it. This is why I use the food processor because I don't want to include any water in the recipe. And now we are going over to the next step which is to begin the soup preparation as you can see all my ingredients right now is to transfer my beef to my pot you can substitute this beef with um, your goat meat in fact if I had goat meat available I would have preferred to use um, goat meat to cook um, this soup. so I have my beef in the pot I will go ahead and toss in my pomo you can see I have sliced my pomo into little bite um, sizes Next, I will add my fish on top of um, the beef. I will go ahead and break a set of nut cubes on top of um, the proteins. The last ingredients I'm going to add on top of the proteins are my blended um, ingredients that we made earlier on. So I'll just scoop in all of them inside the pot. Now I'm going to stir the pot and then turn my heat to the highest. <laughs> Guys, I almost forgot to add salt. <laughs> so I'm going to toss in some little quantity of salt. Let's go. So I'll stir the pot once again and cook for only 10 minutes. I'm not adding any water to it. I have always told you that the beef is going to bring out its own juice. 10 minutes later, guys, I'm back to continue the recipe. And so far, the beef is um, okay. The reason why I'm cooking for 10 minutes is because um, the species of beef I'm using doesn't take a long time to cook. So, if your beef is a very difficult type of beef, I suggest you cook for a longer period before you transfer to the oven. So, with 10 minutes, it's okay. So, I'm going to grill the beef for about 20-25 um, minutes and that's perfect for this um, beef. This is what the beef looks like. I'm transferring it right now into my oven so that we continue the recipe. So while the beef is in the oven grilling, what I'm going to add into the pot right now is my stock fish, which I have already parboiled about 35 minutes to 40 minutes before um, cooking the beef. I parboiled it because this is a very stubborn um, stock fish. This species is called um, the curd. So if you're not using this type of species, you don't need to parboil. Maybe you cook it together with your um, beef. Pour the stock of the stockfish together with the stockfish inside the pot. Next, I will go ahead and add in some reasonable quantity of water. Depends on how you want your black soup to turn out. If you want it thicker, then it's okay. You add smaller quantity of water. But I want the consistency of the black soup in a medium you know, range. Not too thick and not too light. Cover the pot to boil extensively. What I have here is my freshly washed olubu, and the species of olubu I'm using is what the Cameroonians call um, ndole. Ndole is the same thing with um, the normal Nigerian olubu or bitter leaf, that is our bitter leaf. But the difference is that this particular bitter leaf has been washed to the extent that um, the bitterness has almost, you know, become totally eliminated from it. 
so if you're using the normal nigerian fresh bitter all you have to do is to wash it and wash it very very well so that the bitterness will not um, be in your soup so much I'm going to add a reasonable quantity of um, water in the blender so now i'll just toss in all the bitter leaf inside the blender so that we will blend it all up guys i don't have a um, fresh um ozeza but i found some ozeza seeds in my kitchen so what i will do is to add the ozeza seed so that the flavor of the ozeza like um, nature <laughs> We're coming to the soup, please. If you have the fresh one, please use the fresh one or the scent leaf. That is very, very perfect for this soup. So I'll cover the blender up and then blend all these ingredients perfectly. So I'll open up the pot. This is the point where we have to add our dry fish, um, smoked fish or crayfish or whatever it is that you want to so add. I'm going to add my dry fish. If you have some smoked fish, or any other kind of um, dry fish or whatever it is, just add it at this stage because it's going to help to boost the flavor of um, the soup. You can't make this soup without the dry fish or crayfish, guys. It's very, very important for this. Add into the pot right now is my banga. I will not be using all the quantity. What I have here is um, 800 grams of um, tin banga. And so like I said earlier on, if you don't have this one, if you have the fresh um, fruit, the palm fruit, like you can see in the picture, please use that one. It's even better. But I don't have it, so I will use this one. We are going to cook this banga for 15 minutes or 10 minutes. So that's the natural oil of the banga with the yellow. The reason why I'm adding more quantity of water in the pot is because once the banga boils, after 10 to 15 minutes, guys, it's going to thicken up. So you wouldn't want the soup to be too thick, like I said earlier on. So we'll cover the pot, like I said, and cook for 10 15 minutes so that the oil will come out from the banga recipe. 10 to 15 minutes later, guys, and we are here to finalize the recipe. As you can see, the oil has developed at the surface of the soup house. Smells very, very nice. I mean, it smells very nice. So I will taste. It's perfect, but I'm going to introduce some no cube. And then I will toss in a little bit of salt. Remember, my olubu or my bitterly will soon enter the pot, so it's going to reduce the flavor of the soup. So now we'll transfer everything inside the soup. Oh my god guys, this pot is something. I mean, it is really something. It tastes so amazing. I can't wait to dig in with my pounded yam because it's pounded yam we are going to use to swallow this soup. <laughs> Pounded yam food. Here is the time to add the last ingredient inside the pot, and that is the blended bitter leaf. Now I will pour it right into the pot. Hope you guys can see how the appearance of the soup is looking. Yes, that is how your black soup should be looking by the time you have added everything inside the pot and guys this soup is tasting so so amazing so what i will do is to use a little quantity of water and rinse off my blender you don't want the outcome of your soup to be thick so please let the soup texture be you know a little bit um, watery not too watery and not too thick that way you will enjoy the soup better. So I will cover the pot and we are going to cook this down for extra 5 to 10 minutes. 5 minutes is okay, but I'm going in for 8 to 10 minutes. So that everything will come out, you know, succulent, juicy and super, super delicious. So finally, finally guys, we have come to the end of today's uh, recipe. As you can see, as the name implies, black soup, and we have it here, right in the pot. Don't allow the look to deceive you. This soup is very, very delicious. 
<laughs> it tastes so nice guys it's amazingly delicious and so in celebration of my birthday guys this is what i'll be enjoying with my fufu 